So, you know, one of the most difficult things is dealing with grief and the change that loss brings to us in our lives. And it strikes me that with the advent of Anchor, Anchor is a social media platform that was very conversational in version 1. And it's just been upgraded to version 2. And there's definitely uh, a real significant change. And one of the biggest changes is that when they upgraded from version 1 to version 2, they totally eliminated all of the conversations. So your own recordings that you had are preserved in a web interface and you can repurpose them. However, when it comes to version 2, all so there all the conversations. So the way Anchor worked is you'd record a 2-minute audio recording, then the people could make a 1-minute response and went back and forth. It's a very rich conversation, a very rich environment to get to know people and to have really meaningful conversations. It was beautiful. But though all the conversations are gone, they preserved all of my recordings in version 2. I can access them on the web interface and repurpose them in version 2 if I wanted to. However, the conversations that really made the Anchor platform what it was, this beautiful, powerful engagement <clears throat> made it really easy and in one and in 2.0 it made it really it's really much more challenging to make it work that way you can make it work you can have the conversations but it's just not the same and <clears throat> as I was reflecting on it this morning I was thinking about where Greg 1.0 was when I met, first met Anchor in version 1.0, where I was in life. And <clears throat> compared to where Greg is now in version 2, so I thought of it as Greg 1.0 and Greg 2.0. You know, that I'm nowhere near the same person that I was before. And, <clears throat> you know, in the last year, I've grown so much and... Uh, and every single conversation that took place on Anchor absolutely changed me. The, the ability to have these deep conversations with people um, is really quite spectacular. It was fantastic. And it really, the, those conversations shaped me and helped me to process to be able, uh, the, the ability to have these deep conversations with people that I didn't know was just something to behold and still is. It's just not quite the same on Anchor 2.0. It's more of a broadcast, radio, call-in type situation. And it works, uh, but it's not the same as what it once was. And so, you know, I just was reflecting on grief and grieving. And one of the fundamental principles in grieving is to come to a place of acceptance. Learning, uh, giving ourselves permission to come to a place of acceptance. And so I really encourage you to think about that because for a lot of us in the Anchor community, those conversations were the reason that we kept showing up. Uh, The reason that we kept sharing what we did and investing time and energy in the platform and going forward I'm not the same Greg 2.0 compared to a year ago is a much happier guy I'm more more connected with who I am and what I want to do with my life and who I want to have travel with me in my life I'm much more discerning much more congruent with making sure that I'm living my life to the best of my ability. So my life, living my life for myself 
And I was probably Greg 1.0. He was still very confused because of all the stuff that had happened in his life. <clears throat> so I really encourage you to let go and come to a place of acceptance. Of the, the, when it comes to dealing with change, the single greatest thing we could do to dealing with change, whether it's grief or uh, a new job or whatever it is, that, that loss, that sense of loss, the best thing we can do with dealing with loss, absolutely the most important thing we can do, in my opinion, the most important thing we can do is to come to a place of acceptance about what's been lost, about what's changed, and give ourselves permission to move forward, to step into what might be. So this is Greg Dixon, gregdixon.ca. Uh, if anything I can do to be of support, reach out to me. Happy to chat about anything, anytime. I wish you a really great day. Namaste.